Hi, I'm looking for Danny Nelson. I'm the Pop World reporter and he arranged to meet me here. I, just, I got caught up in a few things. Is it okay if we could do the interview now, please? You're off to a good start. You have found him. You'd better come in. You never mentioned it, but that's Danny boy for you. Nice surprise though. You wait here, I'll go get him. It's his 21st birthday today, you know. Maybe I should just leave it in that case. Don't you worry about it. You've come all this way. It'd be a shame for you to miss it. And you can always join the party after. Uh, the more the merrier. Do you sing? No, I don't. Sorry. Shame. We're a bit short on terms, you see. Uh, in you come then. Uh, turn right. Bags McLean, I presume. Pleasure to meet you. I recognise your flow from the wee column. Apologies for my lateness, Daniel. I didn't mean to interrupt your birthday celebrations. Congratulations, by the way, but maybe we can rearrange the interview. No, no need. Just give me a minute. I'll find us somewhere more quiet. There is food and there is drink in the kitchen. So you're here to do a spread on our Danny boy then? That's right. Yes, he's singing talent for me, you know. So you sing too then? What about his mum? Does she sing? No, she's more, how would you say, a lyricist. Always been good with words, uh, which she chooses to share with me, the neighbours, usually about three in the morning, uh, on more than one occasion, I may add. What do you mean? Well, what I mean is, never argue with a Glaswegian woman. They'll have you on your knees in no time. Which did sometimes work out to my advantage, if you know what I mean. No need to explain. I knew you were more than just a pretty face the moment I saw you. Where is he, by the way? Danny boy. Uh, he's trying to sort somewhere for us to do this interview. Well, if it's his room, you're in for a wait. What would you like to drink? There's plenty of food here too. We're very well catered for. Uh, take some with you when you're leaving. Do you always call him Danny boy? Well, why not? He's named Danny. He's a boy. What I mean is why not just Danny? Uh, habit. You said you sang. Are you in a band? No, I'm a bus driver. I come from a long line of bus drivers. Sorry. Oh, don't be. I love it. I didn't mean that. What? Why do you love it? Well, I get paid to do things I love to do. Uh, I love to drive. I love talking to people. And they love it when I sing to them. You sing to your passengers. Of course. I love singing too. It keeps them all happy. There's no fighting on my bus. Does no one complain? Why? What have you heard about my singing? Uh, nothing. I've, I've never been on your bus. Well, let me think. There's been one complaint in 30 years. All because I wouldn't sing a request to this guy. He was disrespecting the king. Barred him from my bus. Can you do that? You'd be surprised the power us bus drivers have. <laughs> you should drive my bus sometimes. I do take requests. It's the number 41. Maybe one day. Make it soon. I've got an Elvis special coming up next Friday. Uh, it starts on my shift, two o'clock from the city centre. Then I'm on holiday for a fortnight. <laughs> I'll see what I'm doing then. Well, I wouldn't hang about if I was you, love. Fills up quickly, so it does. Some of my regulars take a round trip. It's like a day out for them. They love it. How long you been doing this? Ah, years. What are your boss is saying about it? They are happy. Full bus. Cheery passengers. No fighting, no arguments. It means good feedback for them, you know. Some of them even join in. So everybody's happy. <laughs> Could you find out what's keeping Danny, please? I've got to get this in by tonight. Note to self, maybe another story here. Singing busman. Talk to Marnie and suss it out. Are you sure you don't want a drink? He'll not be much longer. No thanks. I need to keep my wits about me for this interview. So, you love singing and driving then? Ah, what's not to love? I've made a good life for these guys. Six sons I have. Three of them are bus drivers. Got one mechanic, a teacher, 
And of course, Danny Boy, our singer-songwriter. What about Danny's mum? Can I meet her? Well, if you're prepared to make a trip through to Edinburgh, feel free. That lot through there have a bus booked for half past six to take them through. She's throwing a party for them. That's where all his uni pals will be. So you're not together then? Nope. She got fed up with my bus driving ways. Took up with, excuse me for swearing. She took up with a train driver. Waited till Danny turned 16. What do you mean your bus driving ways? Well, I've always had interesting routes, you see. I pass a couple of hospitals, a shopping centre, not to mention a whole load of fields and shops along the way. Okay, but what does all that mean? A whole lot of women, darling, that's what. I see. <laughs> that's how I met his mum and his sister. She was a nurse, Sandra was a pub manageress. Between the two of them, kept me busy. But I got greedy once I was married. I don't really know why. Then why get married? I was in love. Of course. There's that word, love, again. Always. You're English. Where are you from? Leicester. Just decided to drive north one day. I knew something magical was in the air. Magic? What does that mean? Have you never had that feeling drawing you somewhere? Just knowing that it would all work out? No. Nothing like it? Don't tell me. You'll love it. How did you know? <laughs> Intuition. Now that's the magic. So why Glasgow? Well, I left with a full tank of petrol, decided to see how far it would take me. I was nearest to here when the petrol ran out. So I got a bus. Here I am all these years later. I did go back and get my car, though. That's laughing me well. So you arrived here. Then what? Oh, there's Danny Boy now. <laughs> nice talking with you, Harry. Anytime. Sorry about the wait. <laughs> Hope we didn't bore you. It's just through here. I definitely wasn't bored. Shall we get this started? I'm looking forward to finding out more about you and your dad. <laughs>